G'day, Simon here from Next Journey. Going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to cut one of our bags in half. <laughs> I know it's going to destroy one of our bags, but I think that's the best way we can explain to everyone what actually goes into making up the trucky bag. We get lots of questions about, you know, what, what's inside the bag? What, you know, what's that pocket for? You know, is it a cooler bag? You know, so we thought instead of trying to explain it, we'd actually show it. And what better way to do that than to actually get into the nitty gritty and cut the bag open so you can see each individual layer, how it all comes together. We spent a lot of time on this bag over the last six years trying to you know, perfect it all the time. And hopefully by you know, destroying one bag, <laughs> we can uh, at least show you guys you know, what we've been up to why we've done things, hopefully why we've done things the way we've done them. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm just gonna use some side cutters first to snip through the zippers just to make it a little bit easier on my scissors. So we'll go through there. We might as well do the logbook pocket while we're going. Cut through there and the other side. So I've put a line on the bag, you might see it on the video, I'm not sure if we'll pick it up. Uh, you have a zip across here on the iPad pocket. So that's a few of the zippers, I'll do the other ones as we go. I'll get rid of the shoulder strap, get that out of the way. We've got this, the handles here, so we'll just go through them to get them out of the way as well. Snip that across. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but anyway. Ah. Things I do for you people. No. If it explains a little bit about what's inside the bag, then it's well worth it. So we're gonna cut right across the top. Now it's gonna get a bit tricky here because we've got an eye, uh, the actual laptop section inside, but cut through there and I'll just do a little bit more this side. Now it might take me a little bit of a while, so I'll, I'll actually speed the video up so there'll be two versions of this, this video. And I think I've just broken my scissors, but anyway, we'll see if we can keep going. I have got a backup pair that we can draw upon. So that's gonna go straight down. I've missed my mark, but I'm just gonna have to turn it around a bit here so I can cut down. And then the inside layer. It's probably going to look like a dog's breakfast <laughs> cut here, but anyway. I'll just get rid of the, that part there. So as you can see, even just me cutting it like this, it's, there's so many layers inside the bag that it makes it quite tough to, I've actually just cut through the zippers down there, but anyway, that'll, that'll be all right. Cutting across. Now, to make this job a little bit more difficult, I've actually got two pairs of shoes in the base of the bag. So just to, Add to the video a bit to, to so you can actually see how the shoes fit in the base of the bag. Woo! It's actually hot in here. It's pretty humid today. We had a storm come through, which is great. We've had a bit of rain in Coo, old Cootamundra. Um, so we're... Uh, but it's made the place pretty steamy. But anyway, we'll get through that. Just cut that strap in, in half. No, I should have done, I should have got a bandsaw. That might have been, <laughs> that might have been a bit more effective. Right, oh, we are nearly through. I'm just gonna cut across there. And we're in half. Hopefully I've got the, <laughs> Oh, right oh so now hopefully I can get this to stand up so in this side I've got a pair of pair of joggers so I actually 
take them out of there and put them to the side. And in this side of the bag, I've got a pair of boots, so I'll get them out of the way. And now just to give you a bit of an idea of so how we've made this up, so this pocket here is part of the iPad pocket. So you can see we've got the tarpaulin layer on the outside, we've got a layer of foam in there, another lining, so inside the pocket to, to cover all that up. Then we've got the actual out inside layer of the bag, so that's the 600D, which then goes into a um, five mil piece of foam. Then the interior of the bag, so one lining. And then this is the laptop pocket, so we've got the lining, then we've got the five mil foam again, and then another lining. So even, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine layers of different material, even before we actually get into the main compartment of the bag. The top of the bag, we've lined that as well. So the top of the bag is lined with, with 300D up the top. Going over to the other side, so then we've got the mesh, which is sort of for your socks and jocks inside the bag, so in the main interior. The lining again. Foam, which supports the side of the bag, the same as on the other side. Then we go into the logbook pocket, so the work diary pocket on the other side. So we've got the pen holders there, which I've cut in half. The 600D there, the liner for the pocket, of the, for the logbook. Added foam in there again, so you could double that um, logbook pocket up as a, as a, a, a laptop pocket or, or whatever, just stuff to protect um, electrical devices. And then you've got the tarpaulin on the outside. So again, you've got, well, we'll forget about the mesh, but one, two, three, four, five, six layers before you actually get to the outside of the bag or inside of the bag. Down the bottom, so this is the bottom of the bag, so it's, which goes, then goes into the wet area section. So we've got two layers, so two layers um, before you get into the bottom of the bag. The shoe section where I just pulled the boots out of, so you've got underneath that you've got one layer. Then you've got again five mil foam, which is under there, and then the tarpaulin, which is um, uh, on the bottom and you can see here how I've actually you can see a cut mark I I can't break that this this tarpaulin has an internal weaving which, which which adds that strength you can actually I don't know if you can see it but there's you can actually see the material there but um, it's tough stuff and um, <laughs> I don't know what else I can show you but that Hopefully this video comes across well to just sort of give you a bit of an idea of, you know, we've got nothing to hide, we're trying to make the best bags possible and I think we're on the right track and we get a lot of feedback saying we are. So, you know, we've learned a lot over the last six years and we're going to continue to strive to get better. Um, but, you know, I, I think we've got the bag at a pretty good spot and I hope you agree and, 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 and go onto the website and purchase. But um, yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of a rundown on just the makeup of the bag. It's just not a, a simple, you know, sports bag that's got one layer and, and that's it. It's, um, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, <laughs> if you understand that term. Um, so, again, hopefully that gives you a, good of a bit of a rundown. I hope you've seen the video to the end. I'll do a speed up version of this so you don't have to see me goofing through cutting it all up, but um, yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of where we're at with our bags. Drive safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.